Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Okay, this is the fourth question on the worksheet where we're being asked to work out the volume of the frustrum, which is made by removing a small cone from a large cone. So because we've been given volume of the cone formula, we can use this summation to work out initially at least the volume of the large cone. Okay, so this is the overall value, which is going to be equal to one third pi r squared h. And when I add in the information I've got, I've got one third multiplied by pi. Now the radius of the large cone is actually going to be six. It tells me the base diameter is 12, which means the radius then is going to be six. Put that into brackets and square it. Remember bid mass with these. And then we're going to multiply by the h, which is the value of 18. So when I've calculated that, I'm going to leave it in terms of pi, at least initially, at 216 pi. Okay, so let's move on then to look at the volume of the small cone, which is the one that's actually been taken off. Now, one of the things that you need to be careful of is you need to make sure that you know, as we mentioned before, this area here or this length here, okay, because we've got to know the radius. Now, what we do know is the height of the frustrum and the height of the large cone is a multiple of one and a half multiplied by 1.5 because 1.5 multiplied by 12 is going to be 18. So therefore, in order to find the diameter of the small cone, I'm going to simply divide 12 by 1.5 and I'm going to get 8 as being the diameter of the small cone. Okay, hopefully that's okay for you because sometimes you've got to use scale factors to be able to work these sorts of things out. So what we've got now is a small cone which has got a diameter of 8 and it's got a height of 6 centimeters. Okay, so therefore the volume of small cone is going to be equal to one third pi r squared h. I'd always try to encourage you to write out the formula each time if you if you can. It's always good for uh, remembering each of these formulas. That's going to give us then 32 pi. Okay, so therefore if I want the volume of the frustrum, it's going to be the volume of the large uh, cone. Take away the volume of the small cone. So volume of frustrum is going to be equal to 216 minus 32 pi or 216 pi minus 32 pi and that's going to be equal to 184 pi and therefore if I use my calculator I can work that out as 578 0.0530 centimeters cubed and correct to three significant figures that's going to be 578 and that would be the answer to question number four. Okay, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.